What's up? This is Ben Cubbage from Elevated Trips at elevatedtrips.com and we are about 40 minutes from Sheening at this monastery called Ta Arsa, T-A-E-R-S-I. And uh, the Tibetan name for that is Kumbum, K-U-M-B-U-M. This is thought to be the birthplace of Song Kappa, who is the founder of the Yellow Hat School of Tibetan Buddhism, also called the Galugpa School of Tibetan Buddhism. So this is where Song Kappa was born, and it's thought that when Song Kappa was born, his mother took her placenta from his birth, buried it in the ground, and because he is considered a holy saint, from that placenta a tree grew up which had the image of about 10,000 Buddhas on it. And uh, that tree was actually the beginning of this monastery over time from the 14th century till today. They, that tree has uh, they built up buildings and many temples. And uh, this is today uh, one of Qinghai's largest monasteries with about 800 monks. So this is Kumbu Monastery and we're gonna go inside. Obviously this is a pretty crowded monastery. There's a lot going on. I mean, you can see this flashing board behind me. There's, there's I bet there's probably three to 4,000 Chinese tourists walking through the monastery just today in the high season in July. So just know if you come July, August, you're gonna see a lot of people. Uh, you're gonna be with a lot of crowds. It is really close to Xining, so it's probably Qinghai's number two destination for tourism after Qinghai Lake. So uh, we recommend coming here in the spring, fall, or winter. Um, anytime that's not July or August will probably be um, much fewer people, but July, August, you're going to be with a lot of Chinese crowds, which is okay. Still a beautiful monastery, but just recognize you're probably going to be surrounded by lots and lots of, of crowds and Chinese tourists with umbrellas and women in high heels. So, yep. So this is Ta Arsa Kumbu Monastery. It's definitely worth a, a trip from Xining. You can make it a, a half day trip or a full day trip from Xining. Protector Temple. This is right the first temple you come into into the monastery. Every monastery actually has one of these uh, temples in most Tibetan Buddhist monasteries and uh, the, the protection is from spirits in the community that might enter the gate. So uh, most temples will have a, such a Dharma Protector Temple and this is right in the very beginning of the monastery. Okay, you can see this sign behind me that says Kumbum Traditional Printing House. This is where they print all their own scriptures, handmade, from wooden hand-carved blocks. Uh, unfortunately, it is closed to us today, but uh, inside, um, they actually print all the scriptures for the monastery here at Kumbum Monastery. So that's super interesting. And uh, they've been using the same wooden block prints for a long, long time. Okay, this is the main assembly hall. This is where 800 to 1,000 monks come together to meditate and pray. You can see the courtyard is pretty crowded here, but we're actually going to go inside the assembly hall.
particular temple at the back of the monastery. This tree is actually thought to be the tree that grew out of the placenta from Tsongkhapa, who is the founder of the Galagpa sect. So this tree, uh, the actual the name of the monastery, Kumbu, means 10,000 Buddhas. And the tree, the leaves itself, each leaf is thought to have the image of a Buddha on it because it grew out of this placenta from the birth of this very special monk called Tsongkhapa.